guys. So um, I'm just outside here with my son. This is the little prince of Chickenlandia with his new blue hair today. Uh, and I'm the president of Chickenlandia, in case you guys didn't know. Billy, do you know one thing that I love even more than chickens? Coop confetti. Coop confetti. <laughs> Scratch and Peg's gonna love that. <laughs> I do like Coop confetti, but not not more than chickens. Uh, what what's what's one thing that I love more than chickens? Tell me. Uh, what about people? Human yeah. humans. Humanity. Yes. Yes. So I I love 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 chickens, but I also love people. You love people too, don't you? Yes. I love everyone. He loves everyone. That's why I love everything. He loves everything. That's good. I think that's a great philosophy. Yeah. <laughs> so one of the cool things that has happened since I started this Chickenlandia journey is I've gotten to meet a lot of really neat chicken people and they might be people that I might not have known if I didn't have chickens and we didn't have that connection. So recently I got to uh, visit a friend who a new chicken friend and she lives in Blaine, Washington Which is right at the border of Canada almost right to Canada You didn't get to go with me on that trip because you had a birthday party to go to mm -hmm. Yeah, so I went to a place called barnyard coffee and um, They it's a coffee or a small coffee roasting bus business um, and it's family owned by my friend Debbie and her husband. And um, she also has a great love for chickens. So she invited me to come and do a presentation for Scratch and Peck Feeds on how to ferment Scratch and Peck Feeds. So I did that and I also got to tour the, her coop and her, her um, small farm. So that was fun. And of course I took some video of it so that you guys could go on that journey with me. Um, so Billy, should I show them? Should I show them the video? Yeah, he says yeah. So let's let's watch. When I first arrived at Barnyard Coffee, not many people had shown up for the event yet. So I had some time to check out the scenery and take in all the beautiful flowers. And of course, I had to go visit the chickens. I even had an opportunity to make a little friend while I was setting up for the event. There she is, very cute. Pretty soon, people began to arrive, so it was time to go meet Debbie and begin okay, the tour. Here I come. We're going right now to meet Debbie. There oh, she hello. is. Hi, Debbie. So, um, I was told that you love coffee, but you also love chickens. Oh boy, do I love chickens. <laughs> we say here, coffee and eggs, you're halfway to breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So yeah. can we go check out your chicken coop? Definitely, let's go. All right. Debbie has 60 chickens, so her coop is pretty substantial. When we first walked in, she showed us an area where she keeps broody hens and chicks, and probably other chickens that need to be separated. I was genuinely impressed when Debbie showed me the main area of her coop. She and her husband had come up with a pretty clever idea to get the roost out of the way for easy cleaning. Okay, so she's got garden hooks up there. Yeah, she's got a garden hook right there. Yeah, she's got a garden hook right there. After we checked out the coop, we got to visit the outside run. As you can see, these chickens have quite a lot of space to pick and scratch in. They seem really happy. One thing I didn't know is that Debbie's family also keeps ducks. Her daughter Rebecca took me to see them. 
Will they come out? They see a stranger. Stranger among us. There they are. And they're all in a row. Aren't ducks adorable? I could have looked at these ducks all day, but it was almost coffee time. Is that good? Are you eating that straight out of the garden? I have some too. Is it yummy? Super yummy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look! It's the first man of Chickenlandia. He made a special appearance to help me set up for my presentation. Okay, so I'm told coffee is being made, and I brought my own almond milk because I can't have sugar, so. Try some barnyard coffee right now. Debbie, are you making Okay, yeah. Coffee, get a coffee lady. <laughs> yeah. So this coffee was just roasted yesterday. Ooh. Yeah, so you kind of want to wait for that to settle down. Okay. And then you pour the coffee on, the water on, and then. She's talking about the bloom. Yes. So that was what I just took a, a video of, yes, like that the beautiful yes. coffee foam kind of thing. Let's just talk about the word bloom. Okay. The eggs have a bloom. Yes. The coffee It's has all a bloom. like it it's it all ties together. Yes. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> bloom is a beautiful word. After our coffee break, Debbie showed us the roasting facilities. This is where all the barnyard coffee magic happens. It was really interesting, and I learned a lot about how it all works. Give it a dick around while let you smell it too, because it really smells very grassy and green coffee. So the, the machine's on and when it dumps out, there's cooling that goes on. So the beans dump into here. You have to bring their temperature down very quickly or they actually continue to roast. So they're coming out of the machine probably about 350 degrees and your goal is to get those beans as cool as you can in about a minute and a half. Everyone knows the best follow-up to Coffee Talk is Chicken Talk. This is me giving my presentation on fermenting scratch and peck feed. It was a lot of fun especially when my little friend showed up. Overall, I had a fantastic time visiting Barnyard Coffee. I want to thank them for sponsoring this video and for being awesome chicken people.